During the late 1700s, William Herschel, along with the help of his sister Carolyn, made systematic and methodical observations of the night sky that would forever change the way the world sees the heavens. Following that Herschel undertakes this systematic sweep, as he called it, of the entire heavens. He does this several times. And that's where his lucky break comes in. He discovers a planet, the planet Uranus. With this discovery and his organized observations, some believe Herschel is the father of modern astronomy. But behind all his endeavors was his sister. His sister, Carolyn, she was one of his true secret weapons in uh, achieving his insights uh, because she helped him organize his research. She helped him get interested in things. She was very much an independent uh, thinker, but she was devoted to uh, facilitating his work. William Herschel's work wasn't always stargazing. He started out in a very different field. Herschel is a musician. He's a clarinet player, he's an impresario, he's a composer, uh, he's an organist. But his real passion isn't music, it's astronomy. As amateur astronomers, the siblings relied on a do-it-yourself approach. Together, in a workshop at the rear of their house, they crafted homemade telescopes. At the heart of each telescope was a mirror made from a metal disc. And he'd take this disc and a grinding tool and he'd work away hollowing this disc out, working steadily towards the ideal parabolic shape that he wanted so that the, the light as it came down would bounce off this mirror and come back to a perfect focus. He'd be working away, turning this disc round, but all the time keeping hands-on contact. While he was doing this, poor Caroline would have to entertain him and feed him. By way of keeping him alive, I was constantly obliged to feed him by putting the victuals by bits into his mouth. This was once the case when, at the finishing of a six-inch mirror, he had not left his hands from it for 16 hours. It was with these homemade telescopes that Herschel, in March of 1781, discovered Uranus. In doing so, he changes not only the known solar system, but his life as well. The planets have been identified since the dawn of written uh, astronomy. And then suddenly you have this clarinet player, you know, with homemade telescopes in his back garden. He discovers another one. The thing is utterly astonishing. So he suddenly becomes a celebrity. William's discovery brings him a pension from King George III. Carolyn is also recognized for her work and becomes the first professional woman astronomer. Together, with their newfound fame, the Herschels embark on an ambitious plan. They construct the world's largest telescope and use it to survey the entire sky. The, the program that Herschel has of building giant telescopes, of using them to work out the large-scale structure of the, of the universe, which is, of course, the, the basic uh, program of modern astronomy, and Herschel does invent that. Herschel may deserve credit as a founder of modern astronomy, but he was not alone in his discoveries. He was a great observer, a great instrument builder, and uh, a great planner of uh, scientific agenda. But he also had a great sister 